welcome to Consultant's Corner. I'm Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. The motivation behind my video today is actually the week that I've just had, which has been highly disrupted by some ongoing pain due to migraine. And the fact is, all sorts of things can come up and disrupt your day. Your car doesn't work. The electricity goes out. Your bathtub floods. All sorts of things can happen that mess up your schedule. I devised a time management system that works for me, more of a work management system, if you will, knowing that occasionally I lose control over my time because I might have a 48 hour period in which I either can't work at all or can only work on a limited basis due to handling pain. It's a system for how I manage all the things that I have to get done every week. What prompted me to create this system and to rely on this system is the fact of migraine, but it's a system that I find works not just because of that, but because of other things that can and do come up. I manage my workload by week rather than by day. I don't like to go into each individual day in my calendar and say, this day I have to do these three things, this day I have to do these five things, and put those into my daily calendar with time blocks, etc. Obviously there are certain things that have to happen on certain days, meetings being an obvious one, and occasionally there are other things that are specific to a day. Once I started doing this system though, I realized how few those things are. Most work does not necessarily have to happen on a specific day, other than, as I say, meetings and client appointments. So I manage my workload by week. When I go into my task management system, nothing is ordered by day, it's just the week of. And I work through those things as and when I can. And sometimes I get to the end of Tuesday and I've completed all the things that have to happen this week. Sometimes it takes me until Friday, like this week. Using the system has also taught me that difference between what does have to happen this week and what doesn't, and how to make sure that there are a few things in my life that are time sensitive. By using the system over time, it started to make me more aware of all those things that can be better handled in a different way to minimize the amount of work that has to happen this specific week. So the things that are time sensitive are client deliverables, meetings and follow-ups to those meetings, and occasionally there's some other things, a lot of them very task-driven, like I know this client likes to receive invoices on this particular day of the month, so that's in the calendar. But a lot of my work can happen as and when. I don't have to write blog posts every single Monday, for example. I can write 10 blog posts today and have those scheduled out for the next 10 weeks. The biggest change that, that the system has made is really that realization of what does time sensitivity mean? What does it mean to choose what to work on right now? How to understand when something needs to get done? And as I say, that wasn't a decision that I could make at the beginning when I set up this system, but it was rather by using the system over time, I learned these things about my work. In conclusion, if you are still uncertain about how you're managing your time, Give this way a go, give it a try. Think about what do I have to do this week, not this day, and keep that list. And then figure out ways to manage the list, the correct level of detail, you group things together and manage your time accordingly. And also listen to your body. If you have on your list that you have to make these phone calls and you're working through your task list and it's Tuesday afternoon and the next thing on the list is the phone calls, but you feel awful, you're just tired or you're having a bad day or maybe you just had a really bad meeting or something happened, you're not in the mood, don't make the phone calls, you can make them on Wednesday morning, nothing's going to change. Listen to your body, work when you're best able to, you can control your time even when you can't control your time.